Welcome to Positive Physics. In this video, we're going to show you how to get started with a student account. If you already have an account, you'll log in right here. But to create an account, you'll click on Students Join here. Make sure you pay close attention to your teacher's directions when creating your username. Usually they'll want you to use your last name and first initial. Then create a password. Select the class period that you take physics, as well as the level. Again, make sure that you pay close attention to your teacher's directions when selecting your level 1, 2, or 3. And finally, your teacher will provide you with a code so that you can join their class. After you register, or anytime you log into Positive Physics, you'll start off on the student dashboard. Make sure you use the menu at the top to make sure you're on the correct unit. Positive Physics has four modes. The first is called Inquiry. Usually this is done before you do the work or any of the other modes. You'll click right here and you'll get an activity that usually uses a simulation or gives you data and you can use that to figure out the patterns and help you get a head start on the problems that you're going to solve in the work section. In the work section, you can start off by clicking on the video icon or the notes icon and that'll show you some example problems for the problems you're about to do. Let's start on free by diagram analysis one. I can access the problems by clicking on the percentage. Note right here that I'll get 17 problems in this skill. On positive physics, every student gets different numbers in their problem. So you can share strategies, but you can't share answers. You'll enter your answers in all these yellow spaces. Right answers will turn green, while wrong answers will turn red. However, you can fix those wrong answers, like here, the net force really should have been 10 newtons. In the upper right hand corner, we'll track your completion and your accuracy. Your completion score will go up any time you get an answer right, no matter how many tries it takes. If you eventually finish everything, you'll end up with a completion score of 100%. The accuracy score, however, will only go up when you get things right on the first try. That's why my accuracy score is a little bit behind right now, because I missed that one part. You can click here to go through the problems. The next mode is called Extra Practice. Extra Practice provides a lot of little mini quizzes. I use this to let my students study for their assessments. Here, Free Body Diagram Analysis 1 only has three problems. This one is slightly different. If I get an answer wrong, that answer will turn red and it'll actually lock. I'll only be allowed to change it after I click Finalize, but I want to wait until I've tried all of the problems before I click Finalize. After you click Finalize, you can change those wrong answers, and you'll notice you'll get a separate correction score. Your original score won't change, but your correction score will start to increase as you get those problems right. Finally, the last mode is called Assessment. By default, this is locked and has to be unlocked by your teacher which I'll do right now. Once your teacher has unlocked the assessment, you can click on any of these zero percents to get started. This is going to give me a 19 problem quiz with two problems from the first skill, three problems from the next skill, etc. Clicking on any of these zero percents will take you to the one assessment for the unit. Just like on this one, just like on extra practice, if I get a an answer wrong, it's going to lock. And after I finish the entire quiz and go through every problem, I'll click finalize. And that'll allow me to come back and start changing and correcting my answers. We should really have a normal force upwards since the load's on the ground. Again, your original score won't change, but you will see your correction score increase as you make corrections. So those are the basics of positive physics. We hope you enjoy using the site.